everybody, it's Monica from TLCMonica.com and welcome to my kitchen. On today's video, I want to share with you a little bit of a saving money tip that my husband came across. So in the video, you're going to see his arms and hands, not mine, but I wanted to share it with you because it saved us a good at least $20. And that's because we didn't have to buy a new skillet. If you've ever used a cast iron skillet and you don't wash it properly or let it dry properly, it gets extremely rusted. Um, this sat in our cabinet for a couple of months now, very, very rusted. You will see before pictures. And so before we tossed it and went and bought another one, my husband did some research on how and if it could get cleaned. And he discovered that it is called reseasoning. So it is possible. So here is what you're gonna need to help you clean your cast iron skillet instead of tossing it. First, you need oil. It can be any kind of cooking oil, like vegetable oil. Um, Crisco works best, but all we had was sunflower oil and avocado oil. So that's what we used. Number two, you're going to need white vinegar. Okay, we always have this around because I clean most of the house with it, but this is what you'll need as well. Number three, you're going to need sea salt. We only had um, the fine sea salt and it worked just fine, but I imagine that the coarse sea salt would work better, but this is what we had, so this is what we used. Four, you need tin foil. You're gonna need about two or three handful of balls. Um, this is what's gonna be used to do your scrubbing. Five, you're gonna need a scrubbing brush. Make sure that you have more than one left <laughs> because that's what we discovered was that he used the last one and then we had to go buy more for our regular dishes but scrubbing brush because this will also help you do your scrubbing number six pot holder because you are going to use heat on your from your stove to heat the pan so make sure <laughs> because you know how hot they get make sure you have a pot holder nearby seven paper towels you're gonna use a good sized ball of paper towels at the end to finish wiping it down. Okay, so that's everything that you need to get you started. You're also going to be using your stove and your oven because at the end, you're going to be using your oven to finish drying it from the middle out. Okay, let's see what he did. Okay, first we started by washing the pan in the sink, so that's why you see a little bit of water left in the pan. Next, turn your stove on low to medium heat for one minute. Next, get your tin foil and start scrubbing. You want to make sure that the tin foil is a good amount so that you can have a good grip on it. Next up is the scrub sponge. Go ahead and turn your stove off now. Next, you're going to cover the skillet with your sea salt. And now, give it a swirl. Okay, grab that tin foil. can start seeing that the sea salt is not so white anymore. Okay, time to add a cap full of oil. Get ready to turn your stove back on to low to medium heat and grab that pot holder. Time for the tin foil again. Now is a good time to turn the stove back off. Okay, grab that sponge again. Just 
just look how clean that's getting. Now it's time for a cap full of the white vinegar. And grab those paper towels. Just look at all that's coming off. Now since ours was rusted on the outside, we took time to clean that as well. And one more splash of oil. And another round with paper towels. Another reason I'm thankful he did this part. Okay, the most effective way to make sure that it is dry from the middle out is to put it in your oven at 350 for about an hour. That was amazing, right? So here it is, all nice and shiny and clean. I love that he saved us a good $20 so we don't have to buy another one. And I hope that that saved you from having to buy another one as well. All right, catch you later.